Hey guys, welcome back to Maker's Corner. In today's video, we're going to revisit and improve on an old project that you guys seem to really like. Now, some of you guys may remember my 3D printed modular smartphone camera rig. Boy, that's a mouthful. Anywho, well, today we decided to redesign it from the ground up. It's more ergonomic, it fits on more printers, it's got more quarter 20 mounting points for all of your standard camera gear, and you can even attach it to a tripod. Not to mention, it's a lot lighter and more comfortable. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this one. You guys seem to really like the original. And uh, yeah, that's it. So if you're ready, let's get started. So the first step, and honestly, probably one of my favorite parts about any project is just designing it. I love just jumping into Fusion 360 and kind of just messing around until I find something that I like. I think I went through about a good seven or eight different versions of this design until I finally settled on something that I thought was good, and then it was time to take it over to the slicer to get it ready for printing. All right, so just as we did in the original version of the camera rig, we've got some preparation we need to do to our files before we can start printing them. So I'm going to bring the bottom part in here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Slice. Once that's done, I'm going to go over to the right hand side of my screen. There's a little scroll bar here where we can click and drag it down so we can see our prints layer by layer. And I'm going to go ahead and find the layer where it seals up that pocket that we have for our quarter 20 jam nut. Once I find that, so I'm going to go down one more layer just to make sure we are where we're supposed to be. And then we'll come back up to where this gets sealed in. And back over at the right hand side with that scroll bar, we're going to right click on that plus. Hit add pause and re-slice. Now our print is going to print all the way up until it creates that pocket. And then just before it seals it in, it's going to pause the print so we can install our quarter 20 jam nut. Then once we hit resume, it'll finish printing the remainder of the part. And just as we did with the bottom half of this camera rig, the top half, we're going to do the exact same thing. We'll go ahead and slice. Once that's finished, we can scroll down until we find our pockets for our quarter 20 jam nuts. We'll find the layer where it seals it up. Right click on that plus and hit add pause and re-slice the plate. Now we can see once again, it'll print all the way up until that pause. Then we can install our four quarter 20 jam nuts, hit resume on the printer. It'll seal them up and complete the print. And then if you guessed that we were gonna have to do the same thing to the handles, well, you'd be right. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna do a little bit differently this time, I'm gonna change it to gray just to give a little bit of contrast. Uh, but now we're going to click slice plates. This may take a little longer to slice because of all the knurling. Once it's complete, we're actually going to do this twice. We're going to scroll all the way down until we find that first pocket. Again, we'll find the layer where it seals it up. Right click and add pause. Slice again. Once that's done, we'll then come all the way up until we find our second pocket for our second quarter 20 jam nut. Find that top layer. Right click, add pause, and slice plate. And then the final thing we need to print is the cold shoe plate adapter. The only thing we're doing differently here is setting it to 100% infill because this is a fairly thin part and it needs to stay pretty rigid. So with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and start printing. So we'll start with the bottom because that's the first one we did in our slicer. We're going to let it print up until it gets to the last layer before it seals in that pocket. We'll just take our little quarter 20 jam nut. I'm using a quarter 20 screw here just to kind of help guide it in there. Once it's in, I can just back that screw out and then we can start printing once again. Now moving on to the top plate for our modular camera rig. I'll be using the exact same trick we used in the first part, using a quarter 20 bolt to slot our quarter 20 jam nuts into position. This is a really easy way of getting everything lined up properly and in there nice and easy without having to fumble around with your big old meat fingers and it just makes the whole thing go a lot quicker and a lot easier. 
Now I'm going to recycle the handle footage from the original camera rig video because, well, frankly I was too lazy to reprint these parts, but it's exactly the same. Simply print until it pauses, insert your quarter 20 jam nut, and hit resume. Now of course because this is the handles, we're going to need to do this twice, so go ahead and let the print resume until it reaches the second pocket, and then simply do the exact same thing, insert your quarter 20 nut, and resume the print one final time. And yes, you're going to need two handles, so make sure to print two of them instead of just one like what I'm showing here. And then the final print is the cold shoe adapter. Nothing special here, just let it print. All right, so now that we have all of our parts here, both 3D printed and otherwise, we can start assembling. We've got our top plate, our bottom plate, our two handles, our cold shoe adapter, and we have our smartphone tripod adapter, some M3 heat set inserts, a couple quarter 20 bolts, some M3 screws, a screwdriver, and an Allen key. Of course, we're also going to need a soldering iron to install the M3 heat set inserts. So the first thing we'll do is we'll clear a few things out of the way, and then we'll start installing our heat set inserts. This is honestly super easy. If you've never done it before, you simply put them over the holes, and then you take your soldering iron, you put the tip through the center of the heat set insert, and very, very gently and slowly start applying some downward pressure to melt them into your 3D print. And with that complete, we can start installing our cold shoe plate. Simply install some M3 screws and then screw it down into the top plate where we just installed those heat set inserts. So now with that out of the way, we can move on to adding our handles and finally assembling the entire camera rig. We're just going to take some quarter 20 bolts and we'll stick them through the counterboard holes on the bottom of the bottom plate. And then we'll grab one of our handles and using our finger to keep the screw from spinning, we'll just twist that handle on loosely at first. And then once we get the second handle on, we'll go back with our Allen key and tighten them down the rest of the way. Now we can grab our top plate and two more quarter 20 bolts. We're going to take those and do the exact same thing. We'll drop them into the counterboard holes for them, and then we'll simply screw them onto the top of the handles, thus completing the main body of the camera rig. Now the final thing to do to complete this project is to slide the smartphone tripod adapter into the dovetailed section of the bottom plate, and then we'll line up the quarter 20 hole on the tripod adapter to the quarter 20 hole on the bottom of the bottom plate, put our quarter 20 bolt in, tighten it down, and this project is now complete. Now cue the overly dramatic music. Overall, I had a lot of fun making this project. It, things have been a little hectic around here lately, which is why I'm so late on my upload schedule, but working on something simple but fun like this is just one of my few ways of unwinding and relaxing. It's pretty much my own weird little version of therapy. So if you guys did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate a like and a subscribe. It really does help out small creators like myself be able to bring you guys more videos. As always, I hope you guys are doing great. Be good, be safe, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Now, click the hell off this video and go make something.